is up guys so today i'm at a place here in shanghai called db racing and it's a racing club so you can come here and learn how to race motorcycles leaning and all that and um, the main bike that they use for the activities are yamahas and aprilia so you have the aprilias right here and i'll in a minute i'll be showing you a uh, close look at the Aprilia bikes and on the other side they have Yamahas like R1s, R6s and all that and it's also a workshop over there so yeah I'm just taking a look around and uh, let's go in and see what they have traction control, mm -hmm. yeah. the mapping, oh, yeah. uh, the anti-wheeling, uh, engine brake, ABS, wow. and everything can be set. Mm -hmm. I like the, the dash because it's small but very big characters. Yeah. So you can r easily read it. So normally you have uh, you have two like uh, two version of the dashboard. One mm -hmm. is for the racing. So here you have the rev limiter and you have the uh, here the um, the time lap time. Yeah. Yeah. And so and then all the setups for the electronics down here. Mm -hmm. Then you can uh, change it and you can go like in the, in the uh, now it's in Italian. Mm -hmm. Just for convenience, so then you can go, you can change the mode, right. so going like to road, road mode, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, is there a big difference, road mode and like a? Uh, yeah, because when when I'm basically on a track, mm -hmm. I I don't care to check my speed, so I don't need so big. Right. Okay. What I need to know is my uh, rev because okay. I, this is what I care the most. Right. Uh, in, in the most is the the gears I'm engaged mm -hmm. and lap time. Because right. this tell me if I'm gonna go I'm fast enough or not, and especially down here all the electronics. Mm -hmm. Because if I feel, for example, that my bike is sliding, mm -hmm. yeah. so probably I increase the uh, the traction control. Okay, right. If my bike, I open the throttle, mm -hmm. keep on wheeling, mm -hmm. then I increase. Mm -hmm. So I keep all like the other things is the engine brake. Yeah. I reach the corner and I feel my my real mm -hmm. uh, wheel, which is like chattering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then I can reduce the engine brake. Right. So this is something you need when you are racing. Yeah. Right. Oh, that so is road mode not really necessary. For Absolutely. That that explains why it's it's expensive because the um, the function electronics software the electronics the electronics of these bikes is the same as the Aprilia R uh, RSV4. So it's oh. the same as you get from like a Ducati V4. Yeah, yeah, right. So at the top of the the top range. Oh. Right? Yeah. Actually, these bikes comes. You take the V4, mm -hmm. you get the two cylinders, mm -hmm. not the the two front cylinder, not the two back. This is one, right? This is two cylinders. Two cylinders. It's a twin. It's oh. the it's the front twin of the V4 from Aprilia. Oh, okay. Is so it in line? Uh, it's in line. Yeah. Not V, right? Not V. But the, this was the previous one. Oh, right. So then you get the two front. Mm -hmm. uh, you just board it, mm -hmm. and you reach 660. Uh, and then all the electronics comes from the bike. They, so don't, they don't interfere with the riding, the electronics not too yeah, much? Yeah, the electronics. Excellent, is right? Excellent. Is it a, a quick shifter here? Uh, yeah, quick shifter plus a blipper, auto blipper. Okay. okay. It comes standard, right? It comes standard. Okay. Normally what you can do here is just uh, change, I say lower the end of bar, so normally, because this is considered like a road bike. Oh, uh, okay, you lower this one a little bit, right? So it comes with the, the handlebar, the semi-handlebar a bit, mm -hmm. bit higher. Okay. Uh, so normally when you go 
on a track you want this one lower because you need to increase the load on the front yeah and the foot pegs so the foot pegs need to be a little bit higher okay yeah and then once uh, once you so once you change the basically the fairing make mm. uh just put the nice exhaust mm. we we're gonna get the mif <laughs> yeah <laughs> mif sounds I, I really like how it sounds mm -hmm. so and uh, we ordered it's on the way right uh, oh. and then you get it locally or imported uh, imported mif is from, from oh. okay. we're so taking the race mm. okay uh, yeah. it's delta delta race carbon okay which gain uh, so it gives the bike uh, four horsepower. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Because uh, they, they, these days the original um, um, exhaust on bikes, the sound is terrible. This yeah, is especially yeah, because yeah, you have a fish in it. Yeah. So now I tell you. So this is uh, then I will uh, I make you listen the bike which is really. Cool. So this is a stop bike. Two ten. You only hear the engine, you don't hear the muffler. Yeah, it's basically. Oh, that's an R1? This is an R1. Okay. Let me see if I got enough. But the big difference. So don't get scared. I like the ignition. Yeah, it's just like normal. It's like normal. Yeah, it's like normal. Yeah, it's like Too wild, right? Yeah, it's it's almost too violent, uncontrolled sound. Yeah, it has no limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially, I mean, if you hear both the bikes on the track, yeah, uh, you can basically hear the other one. This one is like quiet. Six hundred four cylinder, right? Six hundred four cylinder. Yes. So, but this is uh, like a standard four cylinder, oh. and this is what is called cross plane.
right guys so that's all for today thank you so much for coming along i hope you really enjoyed it um, i just wanted to show you this place that i visited in shanghai it's a race the race course is actually on the back but i just visited a friend who works here and um, just to check out what they've been doing here it's actually an interesting place so yeah so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching if this is your first time do me a favor and subscribe to the channel so we can grow this motorcycle vlogging journey together till i see you in the next video guys ride legal ride safe always a peace